welcome to Green Mountain Bikes. What's wrong with your bike? Hot bikes cruising around. Meet Dune Hendricks. I'll give you $10 if you can spell my last name. Cyclists across Vermont know his shop as the go-to spot for repairs big and small. Fixing it to the point where it's time to give up. That's a great example of a really broken bike. Please don't ride me anymore. <laughs> But for the in-to-in -in crowd, most of whom never see his Rochester shop, he's Dune the Bike Rental Guy, providing rentals delivered right to your inn for use on tour. This would be a typical hybrid bike I would send out for people doing the in-to-in -in tours. Generally, the customer for e-bike is going to be a little bit older. E-bikes have changed the game in this state, which sells t-shirts warning it ain't flat. More than once I've got a phone call. It's like, do you have any more electric bikes? They're having more fun than I am. <laughs> it's day three, and we've reached our final inn just outside of downtown Virgins, nicknamed Vermont's Little City on the Falls. There's history, there's culture, there's music, and of course cycling is such a large part of it because you can do it and be outdoors and and really just experience it. Strong House Inn is run by Amy Georgievic and her husband, Michelle. Well, everyone calls me DJ, because Michelle was not a great name to grow up with in New Jersey. <laughs> Strong House Inn, it was built by uh, Samuel Paddock Strong, whose father was a general in the War of 1812. But he built this for his family in 1834, and it's still going strong. <laughs> Literally, I guess that was a pun. <laughs> We're constantly told what a special place this is, which is such a great thing to be the next steward of this property. They really come to see the dog. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Bjorn, this Bernadoodle, is hands down the social media star of the family, receiving as many posts and likes as the inn's stunning Adirondack sunsets. He's definitely an icebreaker. You, people walk in the door and the first thing they see is an 80 pound eight-month-old puppy running towards them. It's a great way to introduce yourself. Guests able to drag themselves away from Bjorn long enough to walk to downtown Virgins can follow the smiling faces into Lulu ice cream. But don't ask for Lulu. So Lulu's an actual word in the dictionary that means something outstanding and remarkable. The name proved prophetic for owner Laura Mack in 2021 when Food Network magazine ranked Lulu's basil ice cream best in the state of Vermont. And that's now so popular that I have to do probably about 15 pounds of basil every week and that's just the leaves. So if you can imagine how much ice cream is produced from that. That is a beautiful batch of ice cream. Mac grew up in the kitchen, but not near the freezer. My parents owned a restaurant for 38 years, pioneering farm to table. My dad was the first president of the Vermont Farm Fresh Network. So I was inundated with it my entire life. And I swore in high school that I would never be in food and I would never own my own business. Fortunately for these customers, plans change. So I started doing uh, ice cream with my sister as like a fun side project. And then a year in, I was like, this is just silly. I need to totally dive in. This, is Vermont. this isn't her parents' restaurant. In fact, they can now be found working for her. The biggest thing that I learned from my parents was the connection to community, the community that builds the food you're making. So the idea of just connecting with farmers to get produce for me and milk less than five miles down the road this past week. I got a note that the blueberries will be back out in near future, so I'm already thinking about fun blueberry related things. That sense of community is fundamental here, a place where the city band, made up of high school seniors and senior citizens, plays in the park for free on Monday nights, drawing locals out for an outstanding evening. Or as Mac might say, it's a Lulu. And Laura Mack likes to name her ice cream after pop culture references from her youth. Right, so one of them is Black Mascara uh -huh. Tears, okay. which is from the lyrics from a song in Nashville, the TV series. Her father has an ice cream named Slum Doug Millionaire, which is curried peanut butter mm. ice cream. Supposed to be good. All right, thanks.